Tonight, the Center Grove School Board met with parents to discuss masks. Masks are strongly recommended in buildings where positive cases hit 1%. And masks are required when cases reach 2%. This week, the Center Grove School District reported 97 cases after almost 600 COVID-related absences took place last week. We made our decision and we're going to move on and do, do that for, for kids. And that's why we're all here. Uh, make sure our kids are safe, our staff is safe, and of course, ultimately, our community is safe. Center Grove leaders tell us that entire classrooms could be quarantined and moved to e-learning if there are three or more positive cases. Entire buildings may have to close if more than 20% of the school is out because of COVID-related absences. A lot of school board meetings have turned into battlegrounds over mass mandates in recent weeks. From here at home... To other districts across the country. Let them breathe! Let them breathe! Handfuls of district discussions have turned heated with parents upset over mask requirements for their kids. I vote yes. You're not getting reelected, by the way. No. 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 In Connecticut, the school board actually got up and walked out because they couldn't get control of the protesters and the parents there. And in West Palm Beach, a father was arrested after refusing to leave as parents protested the district's new mass decision. And in Northern California, an elementary school teacher had to get stitches after an argument over mass with a parent turned physical. And here at home, some school districts are actually removing the option for public comment because things have just gotten so volatile. Now, child psychologists are pleading with parents to keep conversations and disagreements over mass civil so kids don't mimic the behavior when they go to school. We can reasonably disagree, right, and still be respectful. Um, there, there doesn't have to be that, that bullying um, experience. 